Living in Cayman, we all know there is an increase in population daily. We also have lots of tourism, which unfortunately brings disease to our island, such as swine flu. <clears throat> Today we have two survivors of this swine flu disease. Here they are to speak with us. So, Ellie, let, let's start with you. How was this whole experience? It was a very nerve-wracking experience that I don't want to go through again. I understand. It was either live or die, but with a doctor that was very, very, very good with medical stuff helped me survive, and that is Dr. Miller, who, she created the Dr. Miller Swine Food Goodbye Bye, and I'm very thankful for that. Yes. So, Dr. Miller, um, I'm so glad you could make it here today. I know you were all the way in England, but it's very good that you could come. And so you're from Ireland, right? Yes, I am. I'm from Northern Ireland. Northern Ireland, sorry. Um, yeah, you're a little bit nervous there. Yeah, I know. Everyone comes on the show nervous. But anyways, what made you decide to, you know, create this antidote? Well, actually, it was because my daughter actually caught it. And, well, it wasn't for my good friend Juliana here, who stepped forward to take the antidote when she caught it. I wouldn't have had the success I would have had. Yes, Juliana, um, you, you were with, you had swine flu, right? Yes. And I don't know, what made you decide you wanted to take the risk of your life? And you were on the verge of dying, weren't you? Yes, but either way, I would die. Like, if I didn't take the antidote, I would still die. And if I did take the antidote, I had a very a small chance that I could still live. So I'd take the chance with the living. So you're trying to say that you, you took the chance of either dying both ways or maybe possibly living. So you could have kind of helped Dr. Miller because don't you, didn't you want to die? You didn't want to die having swine flu, did you? No, I also did it because if I, if Dr. Miller didn't succeed, um, she could do the medicine better and then help the other people who have swine flu and the children and the adults who have swine flu to actually so you thought if if it didn't work and you, you passed away, that you'd be helping other people, you'd be saving other lives. Yes. That made you feel proud, wouldn't it? Yes. Well I'm I'm so glad you could all come today. It was it was very nice of you to come. It was it was a very nice talk. We had a good talk. And I thank you for having us. Yes. It was amazing. And I really hope that all of you out there are listening to this because it is pretty serious. And all of you who have kids out there, make sure they're watching this right now because they have to remember that wash, wash, wash your hands, that's what you should do. Wash them till they're nice and clean so you don't catch my food. and welcome to Daybreak. Our top news is the robbery that happened this morning at 7 o'clock at Butterfield Bank. Let's go to our live reporter, Yasmin, who is down at the crime scene. So I'm here outside of Butterfield Bank where the, where the robbery took place. Today I'm here with Christiana and Detective Sienna. Christiana, what happened? What happened at the crime scene? When I went inside, I noticed that the window was broken and the alarm went on, so I called the police. How did you feel about that when you found out that your, the bank you had been working for had no control? I felt very nervous and scared. Thank you, Christiana. Over to C Detective Sienna. Sienna, Detective Sienna. Did you find any evidence from the crime scene? Um, we did not, we did not find any fingerprints, but we do have 
did did you catch anything interesting on the footage? Um, there were two men breaking in, but we cannot see their faces because they were wearing masks. Thank you very much, Detective Sienna. We will now go back to the Daybreak Studio where Ellie is. The Asmin will keep you up to date on the story. Good evening, I'm Dixon Van Dam. And I'm Matthew Gosper. Breaking sport news and it's great news for the Cayman Islands. Yes, Usain Bolt is climbing to compete in the 100 meter sprint in Cayman Opens. This is good news for all the sprinters in Cayman. Now over to Alex Van Dam for a report of the Jamaican versus Holland football match. The Jamaican team played one of the top nations in the world, Holland, and won. The final score was 2-1 with Kenwin Jones scoring both goals for Jamaica. Robin Van Perse scored a late goal to set up a frantic finale, but Jamaica held. Now back to Lucas Casper in the studio for a karate demonstration. Breaking news! I'm Juliana Gaspar reporting from the airport park. There's been an outbreak in an unknown virus caused by an experiment gone wrong. No one knows how this happened or who did this. The virus renders its victims powerless against animalistic instinct. It's what many locals are calling zonstophobia. Now here's Ellie on the scene. Hi, I'm Larry Stabler. We are now going to hear from some survivors who are vacating the island as we speak. Here we have Gwen Stapler. Your thoughts? It's just, it's just horrible. It's, you know, who would ever think this would happen to someone? You think this experience will make a very big difference in your life? Very big difference. We might not even have a home now. And my husband was eaten by one of the zombies. They, like, they knocked into our house and they destroyed everything. It was terrible. It's all right, sweetie. It's all right. I'm here. Now we have Mrs. Miller. She is the pilot of this plane, taking them to the unknown destination. Thanks. Um. So yeah, this is just a shout out to all the survivors that are still out there. We. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, just got a little tickle in my. Oh. <coughs> are you all right? Ma'am, are you all right? Ma'am? Ma'am?
guys, I, I think they're gone. Wait, where's Lauren? Juliana Gasper, reporting live from the airport park. Lord, help me! Hello, I'm reporter Yasmin Vernon. Right now, I am live in Grand Cayman at the airport park, where a plane has just crashed. The passengers are very have been injured and are stuck in the swing sets and stuff. to try to get out of the plane set. Oh no, look, there's two other girls over there.
The ADMR Bongo Supreme! New for 2013, the ADMR Bongo Supreme. Named after its founding members, this unique and exciting new instrument will get you up and on your feet. This interactive kit allows you to play the drums as any character imaginable. Wow, look, I'm like Mario. Yes, folks, as you change your drum beat, so the character changes on the TV. This rated product is rated, rated E for everyone. everyone! Coming to a shop near you, summer 2013. Are you sick of having frizzy hair? Ah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Are you sick of the monster taking over your true beauty? Yeah. Yes. Then try the all new frisbee gun. Do you think my hair was like this naturally? Uh uh. I use frisbee gun. Frisbee gun comes with all new simple instructions, easy to follow. Step one: get the frisbee gun product and spray them in your hand. Rub it all in in the hair. Get all the split ends and all. Step two, rinse it out. I'm beautiful! Frisbee Gone even stays great through the night. Ah, Frisbee Gone, you want your hair looking like this and not like this. Buy the all new Frisbee Gone at 525 5, 5, I repeat. 5256787 Call now in the next 10 minutes and get free shipping. Warning, the side effects of Frisbee Gone include death, sickness, and constipation. What? Frisbee Gone! Yeah!